What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be going through a couple of steps that'll probably help you fix your Epic Games launcher if for some reason it's not launching up properly. The first simple step is if you're not able to log in or of course you can get to the login screen in the first place. If you're able to wait long enough and you finally see the login screen over here, click the settings wheel in the bottom left. If you see an updates available, click the button and update your Epic Games launcher. Otherwise, scroll down on this page until you see Troubleshoot. Click this, wait for all of these background tests to run to see if you're connected to servers, scroll down further and see if you meet the minimum requirements. If you don't have one of these ticked, that's probably the issue as to why it's not launching. Further down are recommended requirements. Usually this troubleshooting tool will be enough to fix the Epic Games launcher and get things working properly. If you need to and you contact Epic Games support, if they ask you for a troubleshooting log, click copy to clipboard in the bottom right of the screen here. Let's assume that your screen is blank just like that and you're not even seeing the settings wheel. What else can we try? Well, hold start and press R to bring up this dialog box over here. And inside of here, we'll be typing percentage, local, app, data, percentage, and heading enter. This will open up a new file browser where we can click on any folder and type in EPIC to jump straight down to Epic Games. Open up Epic Games, EOS overlay, and browser cache over here. You can simply open up and delete everything in here. Then we'll head back, back again, and this time open Epic Online Services, UI Helper, Cache, and clear out this folder too. Back, back again, back once more, and finally back again to the local app data folder. Then open Epic Games Launcher, saved, and look for any web cache folders here. If you find one, simply select everything and delete the contents. At this point, we've cleared all of the caches for Epic Games and there shouldn't be anything left behind. Closing out of this window, we can try and fire up the Epic Games launcher once again, and this time it should take a bit longer than usual as it's having to regenerate a ton of cached files. It may even need to download some. Eventually, you should see this login screen over here and you'll be able to log in once more. However, if you're not, you can try completely uninstalling the Epic Games launcher through the control panel or Windows settings and simply download it from the link down in the description below. Click download, follow through with the installer, and after freshly reinstalling things, everything should be working properly. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick guide. Hopefully this video helped you. Clearing cache is usually the thing to do when programs aren't loading properly. And of course, being a huge company like Epic Games, it's unlikely that it'll be their servers, but that's always a possibility. And that's something the troubleshooter should point out to you. Do make sure that you're not the only one before you try and contact support for further information. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick guide. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.